Good morning, everybody. We are out and about doing some errands today. Uh, we had an egg bake for breakfast, which I prepped the night before because I knew this morning would be kind of a whirlwind. Got laundry going because it's my towel and sheets day, so I wanted to get some of that in. And we are um, up running some errands in our local city, about 45 minutes away. Gonna meet up with a friend to get apples from them. I had a Facebook Marketplace pickup for some Forty clothes for my two and a half year old and then um, now we're gonna head into Aldi to pick up just a few more things I forgot after my last Hi. visit here Hello. and then we're gonna do a little thrifting with our friends so I thought you would enjoy coming along with us on this errands and day at home later today All right, let's see what kind of baskets they might have nothing too special huh this one's kind of cute but broken That's in really good condition, too. Well, we made it home at about 1.40, so not as late, which is good. Nevaeh fell asleep in the car, and Nadia, and now Nevaeh's down in her bed as well. She wanted to sleep a little more, which I'm okay with. Nadia's just in her swing, kicking, so we'll see if she lasts. But I'll show you the two items I got at that thrift store. The prices were outrageous. You can only shop there for clothing if it's a 50% off day, because um, otherwise it's like shopping retail, so... Uh, yeah, had a good time with my friend, but it is always nice to be home and I'll hopefully be able to work on those apples some tonight or tomorrow. Um, I got two five gallon buckets full of apples. So I'm excited to make apple butter and can that and applesauce. I made that last year. Make some fresh pies, some crisps. It'll be wonderful to have those. So I got this painting. Oops, you saw me look at that, but I loved the fall. It's by... Charles, I can't read that, but yeah, $3 for that. So I didn't think that was too bad. It doesn't actually look like it fits this frame though. And then I found this false graph piece 
here that I couldn't pass up. So I I was so excited to find this. And I don't know if $3 is good or bad. And I don't know if I'll keep it or if I'll sell it. But like I said in a different video, I've been listing a lot of things on Facebook Marketplace and doing really well with um, selling things there. So that's what I got at the thrift store, just those two pieces. And then I got this bag of 40 clothes. It's 14 different pieces there for, I think I paid $15. So that was something um, that Nevaeh needs quite badly. Okay, so just a couple t-shirts and then three pairs of pants, like leggings and uh, sweatpants. Those are kind of fun little joggers. And then just some long sleeves. Oh, that's a cute one. Um, again, I didn't really see what was on here. Oh, Vikings. We live in South Dakota, so we're close to Minnesota. Um, just a couple there. Then this cute little sleeveless dress, which would work well to put just a long sleeve under that for the fall. Again, some, this is silky actually. My daughter wouldn't really know what that is, but she needs some more jammies. And I didn't realize these were both fleece, so I might have to pick up some more jammies for my daughter that are not so warm. for you um, it did take a while to make a little batch of apple butter and get all those peeled but actually I now have an apple peeler I borrowed from somebody so that has really been helping because 10 gallons is a lot of apples to get through but it was fun to have my daughter watch and um, eat some of the apples while I cut them up my apple butter recipe is super simple it's just a four quart crock pot full and then I add like a fourth a cup honey, fourth a cup brown sugar, a tablespoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of ground cloves. Crab apple tree is beautiful in the spring with its blossoms, but it definitely leaves its residue in the fall. And it's a daily chore to sweep these up if we don't want to be dragging all of the um, gooiness into the house. So maintaining that is some time commitment. And then it is still gorgeous outside. So watering my flowers and aren't my yellow mums just beautiful there? Oh, I love them. Found a few more tomatoes from the garden. It's kind of dwindling a little bit. A few little cherry ones. So, yeah, cherry tomatoes. So we'll just leave those there for now and might have some tonight with our chicken. I've got my two girls on the bed while I fold the three or so loads of laundry that we have. It's just a fun time for the girls to spend together while I get some making done. The one thing I really love about having a whole chicken is that I can shred it apart and use it for extra meals throughout the week.
after my apple butter cooked for many hours throughout the day, I use an immersion blender to smooth it out and then fill my jars. So I hope you enjoy coming along with me today and just seeing what our kind of busy day was like. Hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Love you guys. Thank you.